Hello, folks. Life is such an in intriguing thing. Today, when I was at work, there was this older married couple that came in. And uh, the guy was there to try on his tuxedo. And he was in his early 80s. And his wife, who was probably in her mid-70s, came over and she asked me if I could help her husband button up his shirt because we had put him in the room to try on his tuxedo. And I was like, sure, of course I can help, help him butt up, button up his shirt. And I go into the room and, well, it wasn't just his shirt. It was his pants, too, that he was having some problems with. He was, he was having problems putting on his tuxedo, basically. And, and what I thought was just going to be me buttoning up his shirt was me putting on his pants and me putting on his socks and his shoes. And during that whole process, I, I, there are these moments when I was thinking to myself, if I'm fortunate, one day I'm going to be this old. One day I'm going to be 80 years old. One day someone's going to help me get my clothes on. And uh, we had some struggles with his shoes. They were a little bit tight. And he, he, this, this, he was a funny older guy because... He, he was talking and he said, you know what? I bet my, my feet have swollen since last time I came in here. That's, that's probably what happened. You know, they're always swelling up. And so I went to the back room to grab another pair of shoes. And as I was walking back, his wife sort of met me halfway. And she whispered to me. She said, thank you so much for helping me. You know, he, he could die any day now. And he was walking as, uh, I believe that uh, they had arranged to where he was going to walk. Uh, it was his granddaughter's wedding. And he was going to walk her down, I believe, the aisle. And as she was telling me, she said, he, he could die any day now. She started getting emotional and you could hear, hear it in her voice. And you can, it's, you know how you could hear it in someone's voice and they're, they're about to start crying. And she was about to start crying. And before she did though, I sort of, I, I, I quickly told her, I was like, don't worry about it. We do this all the time. Help people out all the time. You know, there's so many things that I don't like about my job. So many moments when I talk with people customers and they are manipulative and deceiving but then there are occasions like today these occasions of these uh, reflections of reality real life and it's happened a few times before I, I had a couple come in it was my first time that I had ever had this happen, once again, it was an older couple. They were probably in their 80s. <laughs> the lady came up to me and she said, we're here to purchase a suit. And I said, okay, and what's the occasion? And she said, it's for his funeral. <laughs> I was like, okay. And the husband looked over at me. He's like, yeah, I know it seems weird, but I'm going to be dying. <laughs> so I need something to be buried in. I want to look good, you know? And, uh, it, it just was so fascinating. You know, it's just, it, I mean, it was, uh, it, it took the seriousness of death and, and gave it a smile. And, and approached it with a smile and not in a way that was dismissive, but in a way that accepted the fact that this is the path that we all tread down. But certainly gets me thinking about a lot of things. Certainly a lot of things to think about when you realize that life 
can be gone so quickly.